What an incredible opportunity there. And, and continuing on that same topic, you've expanded opportunities for Hackettstown High School students by use of the Internet. And something called the Virtual High School? Virtual High School program is a, uh, a program out of Massachusetts. And there are a number of virtual, high, virtual programs throughout the, the nation. We um, did our research and, and felt that VHS was the, the best match for Hackettstown Public Schools. Uh, for a fee, we were uh, initially allotted approximately 30 seats where students could select of over 250 courses that we don't offer in our curriculum. Courses such as Mandarin Chinese, uh, Lewis and Clark Expedition, uh, Shakespearean uh, uh, Theater. Uh, we could never afford to offer such singletons, but we were able to offer this opportunity for students to not only expand our curriculum, but also provide them an opportunity to learn how to learn online. And as you well know, many of the students who go on to higher ed, and frankly, many of our adult learners, are now learning online. So again, it's a way of expanding our curriculum, a way of providing an opportunity for our students to be more marketable, and prepare them for the next, next step of higher ed. That combined with the Centenary Partnership, the VHS program, and the Centenary courses that are offered to our students, we've just really knocked the roof out of our curriculum. And I must add, at low or no cost to the taxpayers of Hackettstown. Uh, it's just been a phenomenal opportunity for our students. And I must add, one of our staff members has been trained to teach an online course. And they're currently teaching an English course for VHS. It provides us more seats. We're currently going to be offering up to 50 seats for students to take VHS courses this year at Hackettstown Public Schools. The ability to communicate with parents, staff and students, with business leaders, the community at large is a critically important part of what you do as a chief education officer. Tell us how you accomplish that at Hackettstown. Well, it's done two ways, informally and formally. Informally, it's going to events, shaking hands with parents, uh, kissing babies. It's being around, being visible, and connecting with the public in that informal basis so that we're able to talk person to person, developing uh, relationships, so that if ever anybody has a problem or question, they know that they can reach out to me and there aren't any closed doors. Formally, we did something which really isn't that innovative. We put phones in every classroom. We put phones in every classroom and we gave every teacher a voicemail so that parents can access teachers on a regular basis. And that phone in the classroom is not just used for a crisis situation, but it's used basically as a teacher's office. So that when they're not in class, before school or after school or on their prep period, they can call parents, access their voice message, and use that office space in an effective way to communicate with parents regarding the status of their children. Additionally, we expanded our, our notification system, where we have uh, an emergency call-out system. We're expanding that to encourage staff, principals, supervisors to use that notification system as an alert for upcoming events. I think a key aspect to our formal communication is our website. Most districts have district websites, building websites, but every teacher in our district is required to have a teacher website. And that requirement, uh, those teachers must indicate their contact information, their schedule, the course expectations, unit plans. And in the most recent back to school night at our middle school, I observed every teacher talk about their own website and how parents could, on a moment's notice, find out exactly what's going on in the classroom, what the expectations are for the week and for the upcoming week. It's not, it's not a magic show. It's an open conversation so parents, students, and teachers are engaged together to make sure that those students have every opportunity to be successful. I read recently where you said your mother, retired fifth grade teacher, is your role model. I can only imagine how pleased she was to hear the news of your selection as the Northern Region Superintendent of the Year. How did she react when you told her the news? She cried, uh, and she was filled with, with great pride. It's so nice. Uh, you had asked me earlier about this, this award, what it means to me. Uh, professionally, certainly, it's an award for all of Packettstown Public School. But personally, what a great opportunity for me to say to my mother, who's 84 years old, thank you, Mom. Appreciate everything you've done for me. That's fantastic. Thank you today for joining us on NJASA Education Briefs. And sharing your experience as the Chief Education Officer of the Hackettstown Public Schools. And once again, congratulations on your selection as the Northern New Jersey Superintendent of the Year. Thank you for the honor. Greatly appreciate it.